Not having bad mic quality. No, but in all seriousness, today I am here to give you guys a tutorial on how to set up and use Essentials Plus Group Manager. So, let's get into it. So, first of all, what you need to do is you need to head over to wherever you get the plugins. I will put that in the description. And get Essentials and Essentials Group Manager. If you were going into this thinking that you would only need to get Group Manager, then you're wrong because you need to get all of them. Thank you, thank you, desktop. Okay, so yes, you need to get both of them, and they both are pretty cool. So, just stating that right away. Also, stating that Fraps hates recording my desktop and only shows a black screen when I try to. I'm using Vandicam judge me. Anyway, so what you need to do is you need to create your server folder. I've already run my thing and accepted the EULA. How do you pronounce that? EULA? EULA? EULA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you just need to drop your essentials jars into the plugins folder and your such as group manager into the plugins folder and start the server to get them all generated and that's pretty much how you set them up that's i mean it's really self-explanatory just stick them in the plugins folder and they generate their own folders that you can go into the config and edit that's how to set it up now all you need to do is you need to go into the folder it generates and go into config which is what you need if you want special op colors so when you have an op is certain color um you can change the color don't do and in front of it this time just write the number so i'll do five so yeah but if you don't want a number at all you can just do nine i'm much i guess i'll stick with um if you don't want a nickname in front of a person you can just delete that squiggly line i mean if you don't want a squiggly line in front of the nickname of course um, then there's the nickname limit. If you don't want it to be too long, you can change it to a certain amount of letters. So, another other things, there are things for putting on signs. Here's kits. If you want to have, like, color on signs, just delete those numpads. Those number things. Number signs. Um, most of it is not really that important unless you find some of it important, I guess. I don't really use any of this other stuff. Essentials Home, you can dictate how many homes people have right there. Essentials Eco, you can edit how they, how many things they, how much money they start out with. Uh, Essentials Chat, um, I'm gonna save that from a different video, it's a lot more complicated than everything else in Essentials, which basically what it does is you can change the chat format of everyone, and I like to use it because I like to, um, yeah, I, li I like to use it because I like to, um, make suffixes for my players so that when they're in a different group, their chat is a different color. So, essentials protect, that's basically just seeing whether you want, um, it to say, like, fire, um, like, if you want fire spread enabled and stuff like that. Essentials anti-build, I think that's just, uh, player, yeah, what, yeah. Which blocks do you want people to not place or break? So, yeah. Essential spawn. With this, you can just, like, you know, like, change the message for when they spawn in. I'm not gonna play with that right now, but you guys can if you want to adjust the color or what it actually says. Just make sure instead of the player's name, you put display name. So, yeah, that's really all about essentials. So, you can save that and then open your server or even if you are if your server is already up you can just reload it because essentials doesn't really need you to do that um it might for the welcome missing message but as far as i know it doesn't really matter if for the other things so you can just do slash reload in the server or you can just do rl in this so i'm gonna go on the server we'll check that out um I did none, so I'm an op on my server. My name is just yellow, so yeah, none, basically. So it didn't really like 
there's no color to it. There's no specific color. So now let's get into group manager, which is a little more difficult. Um, I've been doing it for a while now, so it doesn't really affect me. You don't really have to mess with anything in config. I don't because it doesn't really matter. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to worlds, world, groups, and you're going to edit your groups. So first of all, there's owner. You can change the prefix for owner. I usually just do owner, but you know, to spice it up a little bit, we'll put Satan. Yay. Okay. Yep. So, owner has everything you want. Admin is basically just a little bit below owner. The owner is basically op, except you should probably just op yourself anyway. Yeah, we'll just put uh, uh, um, lackeys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, it, we're gonna do a prefix mod. Mod. But, yeah, so, moderator doesn't really have that many commands. Usually, it, it doesn't really come with um, your ability to change game mode, but I like that because mod I feel like moderator should have that command. So, if you want to change your, if you want them to be able to change their game mode, all you really have to do is do essentials dot game mode in that format. If you don't do it in that format, it'll mess the entire thing up. So try to do it in that format. It's a little dash space essentials dot game mode. So it's pretty simple. So builder, pretty slow. It, it really is pretty simple. I mean the commands and stuff, if you download a plugin and you want to see what what the player like permissions are, you just look that up and it'll tell you how to format it and stuff like that. So that's pretty simple. If you want to add essentials things, you can just do like, if I want them to have essentials hat, I'm pretty sure they already do, but if I want them to have essentials slash hat, I just do that. So that's pretty simple. Again, prefixes are pretty simple and everything in here I find pretty like accessible. Now we'll go to the end game. We'll do slash reload. So, um, if I'm right, I should not be able to do it because I have to menu add. So, menu add, basically, to do slash menu add, it adds whatever group you want them to be. So, if I want to add myself to builder, oh, menu add, color 7, you do the player name, of course, builder. And now I'm builder, yay. Okay, man you add color 7 owner. So I'm owner now, I can do slash PL, which is an owner thing. And my prefix should be Satan. But if you want to add those prefixes in game, you can do slash Meng add the owner prefix. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. You can do owner prefix and then whatever you want it to be. So if I wanted it to have black on the edges like that and then inner owner and then black on the edges again. Yep, yeah, there you go. So again, Nick, you can I can change my nickname to Randy Kelly. And there's my owner prefix. And basically you can add anyone to a group. Just yeah. So that if you guys found this tutorial useful you guys can like the video and if you guys won't have any questions or concerns or you want me to do another tutorial video you guys can suggest that in the comments or leave questions for me in my inbox also if you guys like this video and want more from me you can of course subscribe and yeah so that's that's group manager basically. All there is really to it is doing this stuff. Everyone makes it out to be so complicated. It's not. It's quite simple actually. Um, I will do future things on more little quirks to it. There are a lot of quirks to it actually. A lot of in-game commands you can do like if you scroll over it, help group manager. There's obviously a lot of things like you can mangdel, you can remove all the users from 
that group you can add personal prefixes I'm pretty sure um, Manu Dell just demotes the player yeah there's a lot of things you can do so help group manager too so yeah these are mang lists those are how many like groups there are and like what the groups are yeah there's like a lot so so yeah there are a lot of things to group manager but these are the basic things if you want me to do a video on the things that aren't as basic you can suggest that in the comments below thank you guys for watching this is kelly cat7 bye